Today, guys, I'll be showing you how to record Roblox videos on PC. If you guys have been struggling to record, this video should help you out a lot. I also have a playlist linked in the description for anyone that wants to learn how to make thumbnails and edit videos, or basically just become a Roblox YouTuber, that will be linked in the pinned comments. Alright, so the first thing that you guys are going to want to do is actually download the recording software that we're going to be using. We'll leave a link to it in the description below, but what you're going to want to do is go to Chrome, and then you're going to want to type in OBS Download. Once you are here, you're going to want to click on the OBS Studio Download. So downloading OBS Studio, select your operating system. You're going to want to click the Windows, if you're on Windows, Mac, if you're on Mac, uh, Linux, that just, you know, makes sense. And then you're going to want to download it. So let's, we're going to click download, and then as you guys can see, it's going to download. All right, so once it actually finishes downloading, you guys are going to want to open it up and use the steps that it comes up with from the installer to install it. It's pretty self-explanatory. It should walk you through it. It should be really simple. But once you guys have actually done that, you're going to want to open it up. Now, before I go any further, if you actually have used OBS before and you have problems with it, if you have problems with lag or anything like that, watch this video all the end because I'm going to be showing you my settings, which are ideal for recording and streaming. All right, so because I'm using OBS to record, we see, uh, you know, a little bit different, but when you first start OBS, you should be greeted with uh, the default screen, nothing here. So if you guys want to actually see what you're recording, uh, like in this one right here, you're going to want to go to the sources, you're going to want to click plus and then you guys want to click on display capture you're going to want to either create new or add existing now assuming that you don't have the add existing if you guys just click on display capture for you click on make source visible click on ok this should come up capture method automatic uh, display it, it should all come up as it should be turn on capture cursor or not capture cursor and then we're just gonna click on ok all right so now we can actually record our screen you guys just click on the start recording button now we can actually record our screen but there are a few other things that we're gonna want to take a look at so we're going to go into the settings real quick. You guys want to go to the output. You guys want to click on recording. And because I am actually recording right now, I can't change any of these settings. But you're going to want to make sure the recording format is MP4 or something that's compatible with your editor, your editing software. Because it will start out, I think, as an MOV. And on a lot of editing softwares, at least that I use, it doesn't work on those. So make sure to change this to what you need it to. If you need an MP4, an MOV, whatever you need it, just change it to that. All right, so the next thing that you can also do is save your where you want your videos to actually save to when you are done recording. I have mine set to my videos folder, which is probably blurred because it has my name in it. If you wanted to change it, you guys could just click on browse or you could change this. But again, since I'm recording, I can't change anything at the moment. All right, now the next thing that we're going to be doing is setting up a hotkey. So when we click a certain thing, it will turn our recorder on as long as OBS is open. What you guys want to do is go down to your hotkeys, and then you can do the start recording and stop recording. So I have mine set as Control X. So if I click Control X with OBS open, it will start recording. And if I click Control X again, it will stop recording. So to change it, you guys just want to click on it, and then you can you can type in just click. Like, if you want it to be Control p just type in Control p If you want it to be Control x just type in Control x And there we go. You should have your hotkey set up. So once you're done, make sure to click on Apply, click on OK. And that is the basic to OBS. All right, so now is the point of the video. If you have used OBS before and it is super laggy and it's not working for you. So what you guys are going to do is click on the settings, click on the output, and then there are a few things that we can fix. In your recording settings, make sure you have your encoder set to two, uh, 264. But scroll down. This is really the main thing. What my OBS used to say is it used to say encoder overload because I had I was recording too much and it just couldn't handle it so what I did is I changed my bitrate to 50,000 kilobytes uh, keyframe interval zero ultra fast profile none tune none this also says none so set your settings if you're still lagging and you don't have these settings try changing it to it and it may actually fix your problem and then guys you're gonna want to go to your video and you guys want to click on common FPS value click on that change it to 60 now if it Still has the exact same issue at 60. Try lowering it. I keep mine at 60 frames per second because that's a pretty good way, uh, pretty good place to start. And then once you guys have done that, you guys can click on OK. And you should have OBS set up. So that's pretty much it for making a Roblox video on PC. I will try making a mobile one soon. So be on the lookout for that. And also go make sure to check out the playlist in the pinned comments below. 